Construction in Topeka is causing a major headache for some in Topeka, trying to get to weekend activities. KSN2 News reporter Dan Garrett is live tonight. Dan, what are people saying about construction impacting their drives? Molly, some say that the construction here is a total nightmare, while others say that seeing uh, signs around town while crews work to fix the roads is just part of living in Topeka. Closed exits, blocked off lanes. These sites can be seen all around Topeka. My stepdaughter, Amy, goes to Kansas City and she's always complaining about it. And I go to Vermilion, Kansas, and I have to go the long way around because there's detours. Fran Schreiner is a Topeka native and says there's too much construction in the area and it interferes with big events like the Shawnee County Fair. I really do if they, I mean, if they didn't have all the detours and stuff. I bet there would be a lot more people coming. James Willard has lived in Topeka his entire life and says the construction is just part of the territory of living in Topeka. I think that's life in Topeka. In the summers, you can't get uh, construction work done in the winters. You have to plan to get it done in the summer, and there's a lot of work that needs to be continually done. It, it's never actually finished. As to whether or not the construction is hurting local events, Shirley Schultz has worked as the president of the Shawnee County Fair Board for over a year. She says with the location of the fair, thankfully the construction doesn't impact the attendance numbers. Since we tend to be so central that coming in off the highways, everybody can find their way on in. And because of that, it's not stopping Fran from paying a visit to the fair. Because I live in Topeka, but I'm sure if I was in Kansas City or in Vermilion, Kansas, where I'm originally from, I wouldn't be able to come. I'm not that good of a driver. <laughs> Now, I reached out to KDOT to see when the construction on this road will be done, but did not receive a response. Live in Topeka, Dan Garrett, KSNT News.